if you're wondering what I'm doing on this nice day in New York City is I'm doing street interviews for my day job. This might be dangerous with my small apartment, but I kind of want to do like a fish sauce marinade. Hi mom, if you're watching, I do move my body and my back feels fine. Um, I never really talk about this, but I actually have a pretty bad back and I found that yoga has been helping me take care of my body a bit more lately. Meal time. I just got my nails done and I got square white nails and they're really pretty. It looks, it looks really natural, cute. All right, I'm ready for my Sunday. This is my outfit of the day. So excited. It is almost 60 degrees today. We're gonna go into Chinatown to get something to eat now, so. As popular as it is to get rice rolls and pork buns from Chinatown, that's exactly what Kevin and I were craving as a little snack after our egg tarts. So here is the Melawa pork buns and the rice rolls from Tony's. Both very, very good and definitely not overhyped. I then met up with Marissa to help her take some photos and then she helped me take some photos in Soho. It was a beautiful day so we had to take full advantage and I always love seeing Marissa. We've been friends for a few years now. We both met when we didn't live in the city and now we both do so it's always sweet to see her and catch up with her and we did a little impromptu hot pot dinner date to catch up and to see her before I think she left on the trip this weekend so yeah just sharing new fun interest and shortcake. Good morning everyone. I am working from home this morning because I have a few meetings and I just don't want to disturb the office or be in and out. So so I am gonna have lunch at home probably before I go into the office but for now we're having the Dolce Nespresso pod. I want to eat something but I don't have anything that's like quick. This is my ramen collection. I limit myself to whatever can fit in this box. This is limited for me. I used to have a really big problem in college, so. And I think it's okay for me to have a little shin moment. I'm kind of cold today. I mean, it must be nice out, but it's like cloudy. So I think I want something cozy. I'm honestly not really that concerned for like health wise. I mean, it's not the healthiest option, but sodium makes me super like bloated, but it tastes good. So I'm just gonna go with it. Ramen is done. This kind of reminds me of Sunday mornings after church when I was growing up. My mom would let us have ramen after if it was like a cold rainy day. Kind of tastes like that. 
time not gonna lie work has been stressing me out just a little bit more this week just because i'm finalizing the details on a project that i'm leading and that i really care about so i think this comes a lot with the um the responsibility with working at a early stage startup you do your own work come up with your own projects essentially i mean i have a manager and i have a great and supportive team but i think it's kind of crazy that between all my friends and i and me coming out of college and this is my post-grad era i'm doing a lot of things on my own which i love and i'm scared of all at the same time but it's been really challenging but a great challenge and i try to take care of myself especially in the beginning of the week by doing some sort of workout class so today we are going back to soul cycle for some spin i used to be really active with spin in boston so this is what i try to do most most mondays but i've been slacking a little bit before this Oh my god, I'm so red. That was my first spin class in I don't even know how long, but it was really tough. I just came back from spin class. I got gifting from this brand called Wild Wonder. They launched this raspberry lychee flavor, so we're gonna do a little taste test. I have a feeling I'm gonna need more than four cans. <gasps> a digital camera? Shut up, shut up. I already have a lot of cameras, but this, <gasps> it's pink. It's raspberry lychee. Oh my God, are you freaking kidding me? And a little lucky cat. <gasps> That's good. Cheers. I've been trying to cook for myself more at home lately. I used to all the time in college. I cooked most of my meals at home. I was so into it. I had more time as well, but I had a lot of groceries that were just frozen and things that I needed to use this week. So we're making a one pot chicken and rice. I can also link this recipe down below. It's super, super easy to make. And it took me under 30 minutes, I'm pretty sure for this one. So super easy, super yummy. And it honestly is therapeutic as well to cook without any screen time after work, after a workout, it feels great. It is now almost six and I actually work from home today because for to just do a lot of work at home and I got to finish out some content related things for my job. So I work in social media brand marketing for a fintech startup. So a lot of it is also making social media posts. Um, but last week I was really busy with a lot of calls um, and organizing an internship I'm I'm leading, which is so exciting, but enough about those projects. I just work from home, did a lot of content stuff, and I also got to run some laundry because I realized I haven't done laundry in like two weeks, and that's why I'm running out of clothes. I keep wearing the same things, but I think I'm gonna edit a little bit before I head out, so I'm a little bit more productive. I finished work a little late, so I meant to edit like 45 minutes. <laughs> I've been trying my best to get back into the swing of editing after work because I used to do this a lot in high school and in college, like after classes, after school, I would do a lot of editing. So that's been nice to get back into the swing of this again. But I actually also went out to dinner with my boyfriend, Kevin, and our friend, Eric, because Eric is a banker and never has time. So when he asked to get some dinner, we said yes to catch up and enjoy um, Baudega, which we saw on TikTok. So I cleanse my face with this deep cleansing oil from Softimo. It's just really inexpensive and works really, really well. It removes the heroin mascara. If you wear like really, really waterproof mascara, this gets it all off really gently. And then I've been loving the Anua Heart Leaf deep pore cleanser, but I'm just trying to finish this. I actually usually like the Perfect Whip. I know it's super classic. Some people think it's drying, but for me, I think it evens out my skin texture pretty well and cleans off all of the oil here. So, and then I go ahead and layer the rest of my skincare routine for nighttime. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thankfully, I've always been on the skincare side of the internet, so I've always loved doing my skincare, and it's the one of the most consistent ways I take care of myself on a daily basis. I really care about my skin. I'm always trying random different products, integrating them into my skincare routine. I don't shock my face with many, many harsh skincare products but I also like to use whatever um, brands are sending me right now I'm using a lot of Laneige since I'm still working through a few PR packages that they sent me but I actually really really love Laneige which you'll see a lot in this routine but it's ever-changing and I love Korean and Japanese skincare the most and I'm gonna be cooking for myself tonight. I have some chicken thighs I haven't cooked so I defrosted that last night. Leftover rice and some bok choy. So I think I wanna do some sort of, this might be dangerous with my small apartment, but I kinda of wanna do like a fish sauce marinade for the chicken over just reheated rice and then probably just saute these bok choys a little bit because I need some greens. Let's get started. Another big reason why I've been cooking a lot, I think is because my friends are coming, but I don't think I was thinking about that in the moment, but my friends are visiting this upcoming weekend. So I made it a priority to use everything in my fridge since I knew I was gonna be eating out all weekend. So tonight we are making a fish sauce, random marinated chicken thigh situation that I just had defrosted already. So. I always tell people that they will and can learn how, learn how to cook. My chopping skills is another story. Please don't look at my hands. I know it's really bad, but at the end of the day, I can make good food for myself. And I used to be a terrible cook in college. I would say I started learning my second year, but even my younger sister knew how to make eggs better than me. So if I can do it, you can do it. And this is your sign to start cooking more. I've also been hyper fixated on this palmier recipe that I found on TikTok around Valentine's Day and I bought dried ris raspberries? I think it was raspberries the other day and decided to make it again. All you need is puff pastry, some sugar, and some dried raspberry or strawberry. And I decided to bake cookies this evening. I barely remember this part. I don't know what overcame my body to want to bake cookies on a weekday, but here I am. pick up new equipment at b and and b and is so intimidating to me because it's just like camera gear everywhere and I've never been. It's a giant store on 34th, I think. And I literally don't know like where to go, what to ask. I have just never even walked in because I'm overwhelmed. But I really want to ask questions about a new mic set because I need one for work, but I'm also gonna use it my day to day. So I invested in it myself. I'll be using it for my day job. Um, because we have some content we want to film, but I also needed a good reason to get myself the pro set, which is really expensive. This has a price tag of like $360, like almost $400 in New York because of tax. So she was an arm and a leg, but um, we're gonna see if this improves sound. Where? Here? I'm gonna see if this is taking in any audio. It actually works, oh shit, okay. Can you hear me from over here? I'm looking at my bathroom door. I'm walking into my living room. This is actually really freaking cool, but. If you're 
wondering what I'm doing on this nice day in New York City is I'm doing street interviews for my day job and it's been quite humbling so yeah you think anyone want to talk to me if I sit here like this I don't know I hadn't seen all of my college friends all in one place in real life in a long time so this past weekend was really really fun and I had fun prepping for it this entire week taking care of myself to prep for the weekend but you'll see more of this weekend in next week's vlog so stay tuned Thank you. 